In this video, we will download and test a ladder logic program in an XGB E Type PLC using the LS XG5000 programming software. First, verify the PLC is correctly powered as shown in the PLC user manual. Connect the proper PLC programming cable to the PLC and PC. The E-Type PLC uses the PMC-310S programming cable available from Factory Mation. A USB to serial adapter is also available. Start the XG5000 programming software from the XG5000 program group. From the project menu, open a project. For this video, a project named Ladder will be used. This project was created in a previous video. The project tree is in the left hand side of the workspace. The Ladder Logic program is under Scan Program. In this project, it is named New Program. Double click New Program and the ladder window will open. We will now connect to the PLC. From the online menu, click Connection Settings. This will open the Connection Settings window. If type is not RS232C, select it from the pull down menu. Leave all other settings as shown. Click Connect. The status bar at the bottom of the workspace will change from blue to green when connected. The PLC is now ready for program download. From the online menu, click Write. Leave all checkboxes as shown. Click OK. Status bars will indicate the PLC program is being downloaded. A Writing Complete window will pop up. Click OK. A new window displaying PLC is not in a running state, Reset PLC will pop up. Click OK. The PLC will reset and disconnect. From the online menu, select Connect. The PLC will reconnect. The status bar will display the run stop status of the PLC. If the status is stop, the PLC must be placed in run mode. From the online menu, click Change Mode. Select Run. A confirmation window will pop up. Click Yes. The PLC will enter the run mode. The status bar will display run. The run LED on the PLC will illuminate green. From the monitor menu, click Start Monitoring. The power rails and the ladder logic will be highlighted to indicate monitoring is active. Place the cursor over the normally open element M00 and double click. A change current value window will pop up. Select a value of true to turn on bit M00 and click OK. Power flow indicators will show M00 as on and output P40 will be on. P40 on the PLC will be on. Repeat to turn off M00 by selecting false. 
This concludes the procedure for downloading and testing an XGB PLC program. For additional information related to the XGB PLC family of products, visit the links below.